Well, it looks like the National Weather Service nailed it. Tuesday's forecast, October 31st, all forecasts proved to be accurate. In perception, it, you know, AccuWeather tends to create a forecast you, which would be accurate according to the perception of the public. The National Weather Service tells you what is in reality going to happen, and uh, both of them are usually very similar. Uh, sometimes the National Weather Service is a little bit more dramatic the reality is a little bit more dramatic than the way we perceive it a lot of times. So, for example, an AccuWeather forecast would have included snow squalls or snow showers, possibly heavy at times, something like that. The National Weather Service included the mention of thunder in the forecast. You know, uh, so it, because that's the reality. Downtown Chicago, thunder was reported. This was Tuesday evening, October 31st. In fact, Thunder is reported to have hit the John Hancock building, and this was in downtown Chicago Tuesday evening. Very heavy snow fell for a period of time, especially Tuesday evening. But on and off snow squalls with uh, periods of sunshine in between uh, was reported across Chicago throughout the day. Several thunderstorms, if you look at the Storm Shield app, you would be able to see throughout the day. It wasn't just downtown Chicago. There were other times during the day where there were thunderstorms in other parts of the Chicago area. But these things were, that's the reality. How many people actually heard the thunder? That's a lot less. So the the perception to the public would put in an AccuWeather forecast would have been, uh, feels more accurate because things, uh, that's the way it just feels. But in any case, let's go over the snowfall accumulations. The National Weather Service was forecasting about one to three inches for the Chicago area, and that's what happened. AccuWeather said a dusting to an inch. That's also pretty much what happened. We go over at Chicago O'Hare Airport, the official amount, nine-tenths of an inch. West Rogers Park, 1.5 inches. West Ridge, 1.5 inches. They're basically the same area, West Ridge, 1.5 inches. But West Rogers Park, I measured it myself, is also, it really was 1.5 inches. Hoffman Estates, 1.9 inches. Homewood, 1.1 inches. Medina, 1.2. Oak Park, 1.4. Palatine, 1.2. Kane County, Batavia, 1 inch. Elgin, 1.1 inches. Lake County, Fox Lake Hills, 1.2. Hawthorne Woods, 1.5. Highwood, 1.3. Lake Zurich, 1.1. River Woods, 1 inch. McHenry County, Bull Valley, 1.2. Hebron, 2 inches. Lake in the Hills, 1.9. Marengo, 1 inch. McHenry, 2 inches. Trout Valley, 1 inch. Will County, Romeoville, that's the National Weather Service forecast office, 7 tenths of an inch. Jasper, these are areas much further from the lake. That's the for Will County. Jasper County, Roselawn, one inch. That's in Indiana. Lake County, 1.6 inches for Crown Point. Hobart, one inch. Dyer, one inch. St. John, 1.9. Porter County in Indiana, Boone Grove, one inch. Chestertown, 1.8 inches. Porter, 1.7. Valparaiso is the winner over here, 3.7 inches. And that is as of 8.25 a.m., November 2nd. So that's the total there at 3.7 inches for Valparaiso, Indiana. The places in Indiana were impacted, all places near the Chicago Lake were impacted by the lake. Milwaukee also saw significant snow along with Minneapolis. This was a result of a powerful, well, we'll go, we'll do that on a different uh, episode, but for right now, We'll just say that uh, those were the snow totals here in the Chicago area and nearby portions. Some of this was lake effect snow. The next time we could expect snow will probably be towards the end of November as another displacement of the polar vortex is expected and probably within a week or two after that. Uh, Well, the second half of November will be the displacement. A week or two after that will probably be when the cold weather with an Arctic front would move through the Chicago area. Thank you for listening. I wish everybody a wonderful weekend and unseasonably warm weather headed our way, especially for Monday as temperatures go well into the 60s and a really warm Sunday night forecasted as well. Strong storm system moves across the Midwest next Tuesday and Wednesday. 
The snow is confined to the extreme upper portions of the Midwest. There doesn't seem to be really any Arctic air behind that. Have a great day, wonderful Shabbos, great weekend. We're just going to add on, this is an addition. Uh, the first part, by the way, was recorded November 3rd based upon weather information that was from October 31st through November 2nd. We have not only an unseasonably warm day that took place on Monday, the unseasonably warm weather continues for the St. Louis area for Tuesday and even Wednesday. The official high in St. Louis will likely hit 80 degrees, several areas, isolated spots in the 80s, but widespread 70s expected. Those southwest winds move into the Chicago area on Wednesday once again. (laughs) 